my arm's not strong enough. Whew. I've not done this in a while. Hey, right, take two. <laughs> take three. What's up guys, it's Eddie Fitz and today it's our first time back out in the mountains. We're gonna be hiking Crew Acadrian and Ben Tilliken. As you can see behind me, the sun is shining. It's such an amazing day to be back out here and making the most of this lovely mountain. <laughs> definitely two types of people in the world. It's funny how we've had so long to prepare. We've been in the house, been able to sort our equipment and our gear, but you're either that person that the travel restrictions lifted and you're just scrambling to get your gear, or you're the person that you've got everything organized, sorted, prepared. I'm definitely that person that's scrambling for my gear. Last night, I went to grab my walking boots and the laces were on the tide, they weren't even in. Um, at least I'd cleaned them, but everything was just everywhere. It was just a manic rush getting everything organised and prepared. Typical me, whereas my dad, on the other hand, he's had his bag sorted, packing it every single week, making sure he can get it light. And then there's me, I just dump everything in the back as always. My bag is probably the usual heavy, you know, grabbing all the camera equipment, feel like I need everything to capture the moment, so. But, again, it's just incredible to be it. And you can see, Lauren is just up ahead, wandering away. I know I said this in the last video when restrictions were lifted for the first time, but it really does. Uh, it really does just make you appreciate the little things so much more, you know, just driving up and the sun was hitting off the trees. It just looked incredible. It was absolutely amazing and it's so good just to be back at on the hills and I'm sure I'll be absolutely tired by the end of the day. It'll be a tough hike up, but we'll see how my legs go. So we're probably about three quarters of the way up. Legs are feeling it a little bit, they're burning but it's so good, so good to get back out. We just stopped here for some photos here. Absolute glorious little spot. Um, levels off a little bit. So the first mineral we're coming to is Bain, I don't know. <laughs> so the first mineral we're coming to is Bain Tilliken. Um, we've just got this last little steep part and then we'll hit our first main role for the year, so pretty exciting. So we reached the first Monroe, absolutely amazing, such a good feeling. It's actually an amazing Monroe here, um, kind of like leading into the two of them. It's Little Ridgeway, just looks absolutely awesome. You'll be able to see the video, which looks epic. Uh, we're now heading across the Crew Car Drain, um, and then that'll be our second Monroe for the day. Ticked off the list, and then down, back through the valley, um, all the way to the car. But again, it's, it's just been incredible to get back at and make the most of this great weather. Nothing beats getting outside and getting some fresh air, especially when it's in the top of a hill, it just makes you feel alive. I'm just absolutely buzzing um, to be able to tick off the first main row of the year and head over onto the second one. So as we were walking up, this is Lauren's second ever main row. And one of the things that we got chatting about was what would be the one piece of advice 
that you would say to anybody starting hiking and straight away uh, when we were walking up Lauren got a blister and it started to be a little bit annoying so that was one of the things that we were chatting about you know like always pack blister plasters you might not need them you might not think you need them but when you're actually up in the hills it just it, it can be a lifesaver um, another thing as well is just making sure that you've got good boots you know for starting out it doesn't need to be anything expensive but a good pair of boots will always kind of you know again help with the fact of your blisters and just kind of keep you comfortable when you're walking up the hill I think as well when it comes to Monroe's quite a lot of people get quite nervous they're, they're quite big you know it's quite daunting when you stand at the bottom you look up and realize actually this is huge um, and even when we got to the, the top of that summit and we looked across you're just kind of looking at the next one like but I think you know Sometimes when it comes to actually just starting it, just go for it. Um, you know, have the confidence in yourself and just take it easy and make sure that you enjoy it. We've taken plenty of breaks. Um, I'm actually feeling quite tired, um, but just get, get up, move. Um, and I guarantee you that as soon as you get to that summit, you'll absolutely love it. And just make the most of it. Um, don't, don't let it hold you back. I'd love to hear what your top tips are for somebody that's starting at hiking. So just comment them below. Um, you know, I'd love to hear all the different suggestions and hopefully we can make this a, a comment section that is just filled with different ideas um, and people can actually read them. And hopefully maybe somebody's just starting out and can take some of the tips and advice that you just give. So just leave a little comment below. Um, that'd be amazing. So that's the two Monroe's complete. Surprisingly, uh, I thought it would have been a lot more busy with it being the sort of first <laughs> part 65. <laughs> so that's us made it to the second summit. We're here at Crew of Drain. It's been such a great day, still sunny. We we hiked up from the Inverloch Glerg side and we've met a couple of other folk who, who came up through the other end. Um, but it's just been good um, to actually get back out again. The path has actually been surprisingly pretty good. Um, I know on the Walk Highlands it says it was pretty boggy, but it's actually been pretty good. I don't know if that's just with the weather being sunny the past few days, um, but it's been a good wee walk and totally recommend it. Like it's some great views all around, as you can see. You can see over there the, the snow on Ben Louis. Just looks insane. And I think, you know, that kind of leads me on to the fact that we've been able to enjoy today um, and everybody else that's been out, it's just been, it's been amazing to just get back outdoors and make the most of it. But I think that when we, we get outside, make sure to, you know, take your rubbish with you just so that then, you know, everybody else can then enjoy it and ultimately just have an absolute blast when you're at Adventure in Scotland. That's us just heading down just marching through a path. There's not really any trail in this, so we're just kind of picking the dry spot, going for it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the dry spot, isn't it that spot? Oh man. You're good. <laughs> I stayed nice and clean for absolutely nothing. What an idiot. Well, that was embarrassing. I'm absolutely soaking now. Maybe I should just stop when I'm talking to the camera rather than just continue to walk. So as I was saying, we were trying to avoid the bog and yet I just slide right through it. But at least I've provided you some hilarity today. So that's us, completed our first two in rows of the year. It's honestly been such a good wee day. As you can see, the sun is absolute scorching and probably sunburnt. We're back to the car. I thought I would have been trapped in the car park, but as you can see, it's actually not that busy. So it's good, it's good to be back. Um, and hopefully you guys get back at an adventure. Um, my plan is to get back at and continue to film as much as possible. I know that everybody loved the Cape Raft videos 
Um, so the plan is to continue creating these hiking videos. Um, so if you enjoyed this, if you like, comment, subscribe, it really does make a difference. So hope you have a good adventure when you get back at. See you after.